Hello everyone, welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan, and we're back with some Warhammer Fantasy roleplay news, but this is really exciting. So they've started doing something very similar to that of Dev Diaries, and they've been showcasing art which is supposed to come out in the newest releases, and there's some really cool stuff we need to talk about here. It's really, really important. Keep in mind that anything that goes through these guys has to be approved by Games Workshop, and a lot of stuff has been considered canon lately, especially when it comes to Total War, so let's not waste any more time and jump right in. We'll start off with the first image, which looks pretty cool. It's a city, we don't know who it belongs to, though it can be assumed that it might be Marienburg or Sartosa, as you might notice some of the buildings do have bits of ship attached to them. This is generally common with nations or city-states, which are obviously naval-focused, so yeah, this looks pretty cool. It's a large area. I don't think this is Marienburg, this is likely to be Sartosa because we do see a bit of a mountain there and I believe Sartosa had a rather large one. Jumping in with a quick edit here, it seems further down in the article it seems to be Salsenmund, which is the capital city of Nordland. This actually makes sense, Nordland is known to be quite seafaring, they're obviously very close to the Sea of Claws themselves. I'm really curious, really really curious to see what this means. Does this mean that the actual province itself is going to be further expanded upon? Are they going to start having more law to further differentiate them from the basic empire? It's rather curious, but we're going to have to wait and see when this book comes out. I don't think there's a release date just yet, but let's continue on because there's a few other images. Let's move on to the next image. We have a great stag here, which curiously enough either is emitting life energy or some sort of death energy from its eyes. The fact that it's also got a skull in its front, I don't know, it's very, very curious. It could be an undead version of the great stag? Who knows? I mean, everything else looks normal and fleshy, but the skull is a bit strange, is it not? Interestingly enough, between all the images are also some passages. Let's check out the first passage. I see further destruction brought to the greatest nation in the old world, a capital riven by magical mishaps, a town brought low by beasts bearing the crimson crown, a judicial captain who ensures trials are decided before they even commence. Okay, so what could this be? The trials are obviously referencing that of witch hunters, it must be, and the beast bearing Crimson Crown? Cornite stuff, maybe? The capital itself, I doubt, is referencing that of Altdorf, but rather the Nordland capital, if this is going to be the main focus, but we're gonna have to wait and see for that. Though, still very curious. We have an image here of an ogre fighting what I assume to be that of... Well, yeah, it's that's Navalander. It could just be a arena or something of the sort. There's nothing too clear there, just the image is called the Brawl. The next section itself is some more text. I see a sanctuary for the lost and the damaged. Guests include unsung heroines of the Empire and a lady who insists she is a close relative of royalty. Again, super curious, because a sanctuary for the lost and the damaged? It's definitely not this city, isn't there? Unless Nordland is being changed around a little bit to feature more mercenaries and stuff like that, because lost and the damaged, that kind of references a lot of different mercenary styles. You know, these are people who are seeking to make their fortunes, who have left their former lives behind, and so on. Now, as for the lady, it could literally be anyone. For some reason, I'm thinking Ulrika, but I don't know. I honestly don't think that she would be the center stage for something like this. This next image is... I don't know if it's the art style or anything, but it looks like a decrepit mansion, does it not? Like, everything kind of looks stylized to that of a graveyard in a very similar sense to the old mausoleum kits. It could literally be a mausoleum. Yeah, I'm actually looking at this and it looks a lot like a mausoleum, I'm not too sure. It's rather curious, but then that could be Ulrika if this is the case. Next is another bit of text. I see a great muster of warriors and mercenaries traveling the routes of the land to swell the retinues of noble lords and kings of bandits alike. Men from the south, the sunny republics of Remas and Lucini, and further afield even so. Okay, so this is obviously talking about that of the Southern Realms. Maybe the campaign is going to be focused around that of the Southern Realms too, as that hasn't really been explored too much. And then 
that would be really cool because obviously that would then flesh out the Dogs of War more and even more so when we look at the next image. This is why I'm so excited. We have new Arabian art and they're actually labeled as light cavalrymen, which is absolutely incredible. I mean, look at this. This is what we've always wanted and a lot of people have always imagined when it comes to Arabian cavalry. I mean, damn, this is really cool. Rather interestingly enough, a lot of skulls and what I assume to be a vampire's head, it could be a vampire's head, attached to the horse. It could be the fact that the undead are moving towards the remnants of Araby to try and take hold of that, as obviously Araby at the moment in law is mostly just city-states, and rather divided the ones at that. But this is incredible. I love the art style, the whole yellow and blue is just awesome. Hopefully this means that we're going to see more of a fleshing out of Araby as a whole. Next we have a another quote. I see sinister times as the House of Joy seeks to reclaim its lost throne. And in the troubled city they vacated, I see more unhappy circumstances arise from the most innocent of sources. The House of Joy has been mentioned in a previous post of theirs, but there was nothing really there. It kinda just sounds like this is something new, as far as I am aware at the very least. Though if someone's read through this or knows something else, I mean, all we have in the previous post is something around, I see darkness gathering as the last house of joy fall. Could that be... I don't know. It's very, very strange. They're keeping cryptic because obviously this is a release that has no release date, I'm imagining just yet. But it's curious. It's really, really curious. Next, we have some art simply titled The Puppets. And uh, yeah, they look grim. They look pretty grim. I'm honestly thinking that they are very reminiscent to the old Chaos Familiar stuff, which could be something. It kind of sounds like it. I mean, I don't know. This just really has that feeling of it. They look absolutely creepy. They're really cool, though. Like, the artists behind these artworks, very, very, very talented. I don't know. Maybe this is a hint towards the Carnival of Chaos stuff? God, could you imagine? That's, like, really, really old lore, like, Mordheim stuff. It would be cool. It would be really cool. And now we have one final quote. Wait, now, is that salt I smell? And further out, dim and distant, spray and kelp and barnacles as a gateway to the sea of claws and adventure on the ocean and distant lands is revealed. Yeah, so it very much sounds, and this is very much pure speculation, so don't take my word as gospel, that they're going to go down south, possibly to explore the lands of the Southern Realms and Araby as one complete thing, which would be kind of cool, as obviously all those territories are very close together. Why else would they show new Arabian art? Because keep in mind that that is very, very down south in the warmer old world. I mean, it's just cool. I'm really curious to see what's going to go. There's just so much that can happen here. We're going to have to wait and see, but this is absolutely awesome. If you guys interpret anything differently, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But this is very, very much exciting as a Warhammer Fantasy fan, as new lore is always great. This obviously has to be approved by Games Workshop. And we do know that Creative Assembly likes to take from the Royal Play series too, so... Uh, maybe there's hope for Araby? Maybe? But with that, my friends, we've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, might I suggest giving the video a like or even subscribing to the channel as it really does help us out. In the description section below are various links to different social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Discord. Also in the description section is an affiliate link with Element Games where you could buy loads of hobby-based products, not just Warhammer, for 10-25% to off. Making a purchase using that link and also our special code, which is also in the description, supports the channel at no extra cost to you, which we think is rather cool. A big thank you to our patrons, your support means the world to us, it's amazing that people want to help a small channel like us grow and get to our higher level of content. A big thank you to Gibraltar LUSC, Ryan Birch, Andrew Prince and Okro for subscribing to us at our fame level, you guys are super cool. And a big thank you to Edward Yule, VS Fasan, Aaron Whitman and Shaggy for subscribing to us at our king level, honestly we can't thank you all enough. And lastly, a big thank you to all of you for liking, sharing and commenting on these videos. Honestly, it's because of you guys that the channel has been growing at such a great pace lately, so we can't thank you all enough. But with that, my friends, thank you so much for watching once again, and we shall see you all again very, very soon. Have a good day.